So we are currently in Loughborough. Or Lugabruga or Loughborough. Loughborough. <laughs> and we've, we've been here since Friday, Thursday. Yep. We've had uh, three days of, geez, is it almost four days now? Yeah, today will be a fourth day of social interaction. We're just, we're just not used to it. No, not we're not used to so much. <laughs> we came down on Friday, uh, Thursday, and on Friday it turned out that Jono, of Journey with Jono fame, was um, morning. 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 was nearby and uh, able to come visit us for lunch. So, so we had a, another lovely little lunch. So on Saturday, Michael met a viewer who we'd already met in Shardlow and was very kindly driven up to... Where See a steam to? train. It was the, I'm going to get this wrong, West Midlands Railway um, Museum. So we got to sit on a steam train for the first time in my life and take a little tour in here. signal box where they would have pulled these levers to signal the people out on the train yard what was going which way you could turn and what, what was your junction and was it time to leave did you have the line clear and you had all these indicators up here to tell you what the status was of the line that you'd signal That was great fun, um, really, really nice. So thank you for that. And then yesterday, we basically did a tour of the Derby. Um, South Derbyshire. Yeah, went up to. Uh, with, with another couple of viewers. And they took us up to see the Cromford Canal and the. Um, Which is the disconnected section that used to run to the top of the Arawasha Langley Mill. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, it was, it was beautiful. really cool. And quite, quite a touristy little honeypot area with lots of people visiting and the old mill that art rights built. Yeah, it was a, sort of the beginning of the Industrial Revolution. And oddly enough, I didn't realize this, but it was interesting to go there and see it. Um, Arkwright built the first water-powered cotton mill, and the cotton was coming from America, which, oddly enough, seems to have led through a series of connections to the invention of the water-powered um, cotton ginny, I think it's called. And sort of the breakdown of slavery in the United States. So it's a, <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a pretty strange connection. But the Industrial Revolution basically happened there. Where else did we go? To Wickworth. And, and I got to stand inside a Saxon um, coffin. Which you surprisingly, surprisingly fit in well. Well, almost fit in. <laughs> the, the lid wouldn't have been able to come down on top of me. But, you know, maybe um, my bone. Oh, the puzzle maze just yeah. above there. Um, lovely little houses that the old lead miners built uh, up along the shelf above the town. And then we went up to... Um, a dark sky area to sort of get a view all around and and yeah of the South Derbyshire yeah. countryside it yeah, was really nice peak district and today we're off to meet a couple of other viewers who we met on the Erewash as well yeah. although I don't think they were viewers then I'm not sure but they're, <laughs> they're viewers they now so. <laughs> well they, they viewed one video anyway because they were in really yeah. <laughs> but first we're going to back up under this bridge and go down to the basin at Loughborough to empty our rubbish to empty our um, liquid tank and pop to Tesco's because there's a Tesco's and Sainsbury's right here so it's really convenient. So let's go. Okay, I have to throw this ball again. So we just got to Loughborough Basin to use the facilities and once again there is no recycling available there is just one general waste bin so that means that since I think it was Fradley Junction was the last time we found recycling and we've been all the way up the Arrowash and back um, so we've got about two and a half weeks of recycling on board now it's just it really frustrates me when every household in England is required to to recycle and 
not only plastics but metals and paper and clothing and food and and everything and yet boaters are expected to put in the majority of places all their litter into general waste for landfill it just annoys me interesting and sometimes odd thing to see on the canals, but you don't normally pass, on the way, an anti-aircraft gun. Not an everyday thing. Lock and it's very noisy. It says it's open. Um, it looks like a flood lock because um, we're about to go out onto the river. And um, just trying to work out how to open the gates. So, as you can see there, we're well into the green, so it looks like a little bit of flow on the river, but not too bad. Barrow. I think we're in Barrow on Saw. Michael's miles ahead now. He was obviously going with the current and has floated off downstream. There's these really cute little moorings here underneath the arches of the bridge. Okay, I love this boat. It's the Discworld boat. There's death. There is death on Binky. There's Conan the Barbarian on the luggage. Over here is Rinswind. Various other characters. The Knack McFeagal. I love this boat. Fire mill facilities. No recycling. So earlier today we passed an anti-aircraft gun and now it's a house with its own fuselage of cannon. Kind of doubt they work. But you never know. Funny if one went off right now. So, just coming into Monsoro, and that is the, well, it says on it 1860 bridge. Apparently the longest stone span, stone bridge around. It's quite beautiful. It's quite long. It's quite behind me. I'm driving backwards right now. Shouldn't do that. So we've arrived at Mount Sorrel. Yes. Not a particularly long cruise, maybe three hours? Yeah, three, three and a half maybe. So first of all, how was the, the big reverse to the water point and then um, Loughborough Basin? The big reverse to the water point was fine. It wasn't supposed to be a big reverse then? No, it wasn't supposed to be. I was supposed to just reverse through the little junction um, bridge there. And then as I was backing out, the wind caught me and pushed me. So I was like, well, I may as well just commit and back. Because otherwise I'm going to have to do like a five point turn. I may as well just commit to it and let this thing push me and then I'll back all the way up. 
And that wasn't really hard at all once I actually got moving. In fact, I made it a little bit easier against the wind, I think. Disappointingly, the facilities at the um, left basin didn't include recycling. So we've been carrying our recycling since Bradley Junction, I believe, was the last time we managed to do any recycling. Yeah. And it's just a bit disappointing because if you live in a house, you get to recycle everything. You get plastics, glass, metal, clothing, food. Yard trimmings. Yeah, garden waste. And on a narrowboat, it seems that unless you really go out of your way or carry your recycling for weeks on end, it's all going to end up in the general waste in a landfill, which doesn't yeah. make any sense. Because there was also a, a waste point in Barrow on Saw, and I walked around there and they just had a massive skip, but no recycling. And the other thing is, there's so much plastic floating around in the canal, and like if boaters all picked up whatever plastic they found, it would like make a really big impact. But then where do you put it when you pull it out? <laughs> because yeah. there's no recycling. Because you can only put so much on the bow. Oh, the recycling box is full inside, and we've started a sack out here full of recycling. Yeah. Like there was there was nothing since Radley. We've been all the way up and down the Arrowwash. Something I've always been aware of since we've been aboard. But like it, it is a really big problem, and I can't understand why boaters aren't encouraged to recycle more. And my worry is that, well, not all boaters carry it, I'm sure some do, but we do see recyclable stuff in the general waste bins, which... Oh yeah, all the time. Mm. So anyway, let us know what you think about it. I walked all the way from Loughborough, which is about five and a half miles, um, so George was loving life, although I did keep him on the lead for most of it because there's lots of little chickies about, and I'm sure he would like one for breakfast. And then we went under the... 1680 bridge or the 1860 bridge what is it there's a big difference between those two i know 1860 <laughs> and what is it the biggest it's the longest stone bridge span apparently in the world yeah so yeah, it was quite impressive and my plan was to run ahead so i could get a nice shot of michael going in it and the river kind of curves so i thought if i run through the field run rather than running around the edge of the field where the path is i got halfway across and i was like ankle deep in mud did you scream by the way no because I heard this loud squeal and it's just like, what was that? I might have shouted at George. I was ankle deep. He was like shoulder deep in it. Oh, uh, okay. And, um, I mean, because it, it, like, it just, it was a loud squeal and I thought something had gone off in the engine and then I looked over and you're, you're sort of stomping backwards and I was just like... I was squelching. My feet are soaking okay. wet now. My socks are going to be black. It was, it was a silly move. And we're meeting up with some viewers tonight for... Well, they're not uh, viewers because... No, no, they're viewers now. Yeah, but they weren't when we met them. But they are now. <laughs> We're meeting up with some people that we met on the Arrowwash tonight. We passed an anti-aircraft cannon and a guy with four four guns pointed out of his... I missed his, that. Like, we passed an actual anti-aircraft cannon, like a Bofors 20mm gun sort of thing, or 25mm gun. And then we come around this long corner, and there's a guy with a with a house that's for sale. So it's got, like, a little wall outside that looks like it's meant to be a castle. It's all painted white, and it's got four fake cannons pointed out of it. I'm like, no pirate flags, no nothing, but he's got four fake cannons. Anyway, I hope this has all come out because it's a little bit windy, so sorry if there's some wind. Okay, anything else? No, I think that's about it. Sorry for the man flu. Thanks for watching. Thumbs up, comment, subscribe. I'd like to be in the video. I'm trying to get into the video. I don't, this is my wrong arm for this, hold on. Can we have a nicer backdrop, do you think? Uh, there's a boat. And there's the- That's better. That's better. I'm not sure. Oh, is that a... Where's the dog? He's right by my feet. What kind of in the way here? Just lots of driving around, and I think we saw our first knob farm. <laughs> knob lane, was it? Oh, one of those knobs. Um, Apparently they farm knobs here. Um, <coughs> but... Hi, George. He wants his ball thrown. So, what was that noise? Uh, <laughs> my man flew. Um, my lungs going all wishy-washy. It's something I've always been aware of since we've been aboard. Abroad. Aboard. <laughs> abroad aboard. Aboard abroad. <laughs> I walked all the way from Loughborough, which is about half and a half and a five mile. Half and a five mile? <laughs> you know, only it's only because I'm getting older. Okay, thumbs up, comment, subscribe. <laughs> you just give me like a triple look.